Hello and welcome to Rotted Reviews. And today I'd like to talk about a movie that's coming out on VOD services in just a short little while now. The 2021 movie, Honeydew. Written and directed by Devro Milburn, this introduces us to the characters of Riley and Sam, played by Marlon Barr and Sawyer Spielberg, respectively. And they're out on, uh, not necessarily a road trip, they're trying to get to a destination. Sam is trying to get to his audition, and his girlfriend Riley is tagging along, and also studying up for her horticultural thesis on this fungal infection of wheat. And a series of missteps starts kicking off when their GPS stops working. They don't really know where to go from there, so they decide to go ahead and camp overnight in a nearby field, only to find out that the farmer, who is polite but asking them to leave, really just doesn't want them there. And then they find out that when they pack up to go, their car doesn't work anymore. So they find a nearby house where they are met with Karen. A nice, sweet, old, but kind of odd lady, played by Barbara Kingsley, who is very accommodating, invites them into her home so that they can use their phone, try to get a tow or a jump or whatever they need for their car. And in the meantime, why don't you go ahead and have some dinner? If the person's going to be late, then we'll, we have a nice little spot for you that you can you know, rest your heads until the morning, that kind of thing. And of course, nothing is quite as it seems. Honestly, we've seen this all before, and we've seen it a million times. The stranded traveler that finds good graces among some odd people, but even so, uh, you know, needs their help and they are offering their help and then they find out that maybe more sinister stuff is happening underneath. So the real question is, is Honeydew something special? And on a storyline level, I would say no, it really isn't. Uh, I mean, the, the beats and the paces and the storyline plot elements and the characters and so on and so forth were kind of just either tried and true and tired or just not that interesting in the first place. But there's more than meets the eye with this one. This kind of finds some weird balance between having kind of a manic editing style while also meeting kind of a mumble gore tempo. And for me, that was kind of, uh, it, it, it kept me on the line, but just. And I have to give all of the props to that for the technical achievements of this film, which were gorgeous. The camera work, the sound design, the editing was phenomenal. And I do say with absolute conviction that although this movie wound up being in a place of slightly on the high end of mediocre for me, if it hadn't been for the technical elements of this movie, it would have been a flat out absolutely did not like it. The acting performances were sold well enough. I really don't have any major complaints about that. Barbara Kingsley especially stood out to me. But the characters themselves, as they were written on the page, just weren't that terribly interesting. The infighting between uh, Sam and Riley just uh, it didn't work. I didn't really feel anything for these characters, so what they wound up going through, I didn't really feel anything on that level. But even so, with the sound design and with the editing, I found this to be not necessarily a disturbing film, but a deeply unsettling one. I honestly think that this was trying to be a lot more disturbing than it actually was for me, but that could just be my level of sensitivity built up over time with watching movies such as this. But even so, the unsettling nature as I was watching it, not you know, with big grand performances and big gore elements and so on and so forth, but just the beat by beat moments as they're having dinner, nothing ever felt quite right. And the editing and the sound design were a major component of making that happen. As a viewer, I did not ever find a comfortable position in watching this movie, and I think that was the point. And honestly, as a horror film review, viewer and horror film lover, I'm all about that. Make me uncomfortable. Make me squirm. Put me on the edge of my seat. Make it an uncomfortable watch. I'm good with that. The only real problem that I had was it just kind of petered out in terms of that unsettling feeling. Uh, you would kind of expect that if you're going to have that throughout the entire course of the movie, as this did, that it would kind of reach a crescendo. That with the climactic overtones of the plot, so too would it elevate that unsettling feeling to finally come to some sort of fruition. Instead, it just kind of bleh, and the plot just kind of went its disturbing way. Yeah, it had some interesting reveals, but nothing that I couldn't have guessed in the first place. Again, we've seen this kind of movie before. So not really a whole lot of surprises to be had there. The disturbing elements weren't nearly as disturbing as I think it was trying to come across, and the unsettling nature that so captured me just kind of fizzled. So although I do recommend this movie because I do think that it is a work of art and the technical achievements are worthy of being seen, I can't really say that it's going to be something that sticks in my brain as anything 
near the best of 2021. So at this point, I do offer a soft recommendation for Honeydew for anybody that wants to kind of dive into an unsettling movie that has some pretty major flaws to it. But even so, like I said, it did keep me on the hook. Just. Thank you so much for watching this review. I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Remember, next time you want to watch a horror movie, first make sure that it's good and rotted.